Now you may say, John, you're looking into this. These people might have just been really depressed. They might have actually been suicidal. They might have actually just had so much stress built up. But wouldn't you think somebody that was able to cure these these diseases from people, they'd feel so great about doing this. Why would they need to commit suicide? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, this is another conspiracy video cast coming from the Medicine Hat official channel, and I'm your host, John Vi. I wanted to get into a little bit of, um, what, what would I like to call it, uh, more of a modern topic, more of an up-to-date topic, and that's going to be about Dr. CB and his connection to Nipsey Hussle. So Nipsey Hussle, and if I'm correct in this, because this is exactly why I went over synchronicities last week's po uh, video cast, is because this kind of stuff really will hit your life, and you'll go, what? So I was watching a hip-hop documentary, and I was also talking about the music industry and how everybody gets ripped off and uh, contracts are whack and stuff like that. Nevertheless, Nipsey Hussle was actually on this documentary. And I watched it about two to three weeks ago and then heard about him getting, uh, getting murdered. So that's what's really, really crazy. And he was known for a very expensive mix, uh, excuse me, mixtape that he had produced. I believe it was the thousand dollar mixtape, and he got very, very popular over um, putting his mixtape very high up, and ended up getting signed by some very big, uh, a very big label, which coincides with having a big uh, artist name. And then, right before he got uh, murdered, which I think he was assassinated, when you look into the the coverage of it. When you hear about the facts about how he was murdered, um, it looks like a lot of other things in the past that people have said and news has said that it was a it was a hit and run or it was a drive by gang shooting or something like that. Um, I think I think for uh, for what the money is worth, I think it was either maybe a label was behind it, someone that owned his music might have been behind it, and I think at the very least. Since he was working on a documentary about Dr. CB's life, um, even even the big uh, the big companies, the big industries could have been behind it as well. Um, so Dr. CB was a gentleman who had been curing these diseases through healthy eating and healthy healthy ways of life, and was curing such diseases as cancer, AIDS, heart disease, and the list goes on. And he had tons of patients, or excuse me, clients, I'd like to say, that were getting cured of these diseases that most doctors would only know to push the, uh, the pharmaceuticals or the, uh, the medication, which costs people so much money. And they're doing that just to be able to live. And most of them can't function. They just live to uh, when they take the medication. So you look at those facts and you look at who Nipsey Hussle was, it can be easy to see that, oh, he just got chopped off by somebody that didn't like him in the neighborhood or didn't like him in the industry, which, which could happen. And I know for me, since I didn't have a big background on who he was and what he was up to and his positive things uh, behind the scenes, it could very easily look that way to a layman. But when you really dive into it, uh, when you get facts after after the situation happens, this stuff can lean especially towards the people that have the money, the big businesses, and the people that don't want to lose that business. When somebody comes along and talks about the cure, when someone comes along and talks about how they can take away your illness and you don't have to be a slave to the medical system or to the prescription pill system, um, a lot of people in those medical industries will do anything they can to abolish that. Uh, we've seen in the past couple of years, because I, I believe Dr. CB died a few years ago. Uh, I looked up his information, and I believe it said 2016. So he has been deceased for a couple of years now, and even his death was very suspicious. And we've seen a just a consistent knocking off of holistic doctors 
that have been able to cure many, many serious illnesses that humans have had uh, in, in our modern era and people are dying from, and not only they're dying from it, but the system, the medical system and the pharmaceutical system makes tons of money off of these people that have cancer, heart disease, AIDS, you can go down the list. Any kind of disease or illness that has surgeries involved, that has medications involved, these medical people are taking advantage of that. And when someone comes along or a group of holistic people come along and say that they can do this and they prove that they can do this based on their clientele, the pharmaceutical system and the medical system get very scared and the one thing they do is they take hits out on these people. Now you may say, John, you're looking into this. These people might have just been really depressed. They might have actually been suicidal. They might have actually just had so much stress built up. But wouldn't you think somebody that was able to cure these, these diseases from people, they'd feel so great about doing this. Why would they need to commit suicide? And I think the more you look, look into stuff like this, yes, you can get into rabbit holes and you can go crazy over it. But when you see very suspicious deaths or you see very suspicious murders, you have to always wonder if it was a hit. You really do. All these people that create free energy systems, all these inventors um, that invent uh, a great way to run a car. There's people that have figured out how to run cars with, with water only instead of gasoline and oil. Um, I was watching a, uh, a, uh, a stream that uh, Prepper Nurse One did last night. And not only was he talking about Dr. CB and Nipsey Hussle, and this actually, that actually made me do a uh, conspiracy video cast about this subject because it's very new, it's very fresh, and people need to know really what's going on. What's really interesting about his, uh, about his stream is that it cut out when he was starting to talk about this, when he was starting to talk about Big Farm, uh, excuse me, Big Pharma, Big Pharma, he was starting to talk about um, the medical industry, which he was a part of. He was a uh, he was a uh, CNA, and he also worked in people's in people's homes uh, as 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 a, a a nurse. And somebody, these people that actually worked for these industries, they know they know what's going on. So I think the big thing to think about is yes. Follow what's right, because at the end of the day, you can go to sleep at night because a lot of percentage of these people that work for the big pharmaceutical, big oil, big whatever, they're going to do whatever they can do to make their buck and to keep that buck. Watch your back, but stay positive. I think that's the big message out of this is always, always be looking around, always be protecting yourself and the people you love and the people you care about. But at the same time, keep your wits about you, stay positive, avoid the negativity because nobody knows how many years, days, months, minutes, hours people have in their life that remains. I think at the very least, you can stay happy and stay positive with your thoughts right up here. I wanted to keep it short today. I was in a different location. There's, there's uh, some construction going on in the uh, area that I'd usually do my my car. Uh, I'd usually be in the car and be all nice and toasty in there. But today, I wanted to get this done. I wanted to share the information that I've learned. If anybody has comments, uh, if anybody has new information or other information that I've, I may have misspoken about, I may have missed on this subject, please leave a comment. And as always, stay cool.